Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. This is a live broadcast from Princeton, New Jersey. Today is Monday, March 8th, 2010. It's 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. It's 4.30 p.m. in London. In Hamilton, it's 12.30 p.m. If you need to reach us during the broadcast, you can phone in toll-free at 1-866-67-CADEX. Overseas, our AOL instant mail address is CADEX TV. Uh, some other news that came in before we uh, come on the air. Uh, QBE Europe has apparently uh, reorganized its underwriting divisions. Uh, if you go to Google News and type in QBE, you'll see that uh, they've broken it out into four very clearly distinct groups. Also, the president, President Obama, is in Philadelphia today, about 40 miles away from us. He's making a, a big push around the country this week on urging uh, the public to get behind the health care plan. And uh, it's very clear that the Democrats plan to pass it uh, on a straight up and down majority vote. We'll now go to our main news for the day. It was a, a seismic weekend. Uh, the first one was uh, just a few hours ago in Chile, uh, 5.1 aftershock, the, uh, the red square here. Uh, mixed in with all the other uh, detritus coming from the 8.8 uh, .8 quake about 10 or 12 days ago. 5.1 quake uh, hit south of Santiago, a little bit to the east of the uh, the main events, seismically. Uh, there have been no reports of any damage or injuries. Um, further uh, toward the east, way over in Europe, in the eastern part of Europe, there was a strong earthquake in Turkey, and we'll bring that one up. Um, there's a little cluster here. The lower one, the lower, larger square, is the one that uh, is apparently about a 6.0. Uh, this occurred uh, earlier this morning, about uh, 9 p.m. last night, Eastern Standard Time. It killed at least 50 people, flattened six villages. Uh, there have been a number of aftershocks, as many as 50 of them, some of them measuring as high as 5.5. Uh, this quake, uh, the USGS, is measuring at 5.9. Um, some of the uh, areas in concern uh, are located about 340 miles east of the capital of Ankara. Uh, also in Taiwan, there was another earthquake. Uh, there was one last week. Uh, you see the larger square here. There was a 5.1 this morning. This was in the central part of the country. It was about 16 kilometers southeast of uh, the city of Chiyi. Um, there have been no reports of any damage or injuries. The 6.4 last week was uh, fairly strong. It derailed a carriage on a high-speed train and momentarily cut off electricity to about 500,000 homes. Well, the uh, AIG MetLife deal is finally finished. Um, they have agreed, AIG has agreed to sell its foreign life insurance unit, Alico, to Metropolitan Life for about $15.5 billion U.S., MetLife will pay about $6.8 billion in cash and about $8.7 billion in equity uh, for the American life insurance company. Uh, MetLife is already the largest life insurer in the U.S. and Mexico. Uh, with the addition of Alico, it will give it a global presence, particularly in Japan, which is the world's second largest life insurance market. Alico will also move MetLife uh, into a strong position in Europe, and move into the top five market position in many emerging markets in Central and Eastern Europe, the Middle East, and Latin America. It's a very good deal for MetLife. The cash portion of the sale will be used to reduce the uh, $48 billion investment in AIG by the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. From all indications this morning, AIG is now set to sell its 50% stake in Transatlantic Reinsurance Corporation. Uh, no word as to who the buyers would be for that. <coughs> Excuse me. Chaucer underwriting is back in the black. They uh, are attributing it to a very good underwriting year. Uh, their pre-tax gain is about uh, 42 million pounds for 09, compared with a loss of 26 million pounds in 08. Gross written premiums rose to about 796 million pounds from 741 million pounds. Chaucer said that uh, it's on target for uh, re domestic it's on target for 2010. Their business looks encouraging. Uh, Bob Stukeberry, the CEO, said that Chaucer's property division had sought to avoid Chilean treaty reinsurance programs because of dissatisfaction over terms and conditions. Uh, so they uh, locked down on that. There was an article today in uh, the Bermuda Royal Gazette 
interviewing uh, John Berger and uh, Sandy uh, and Martin Becker. Uh, they say that the uh, new insurer that's been formed, Altera Insurance, will not result in any job losses. Um, Max has about 100 of its 430 employees uh, located in Bermuda. Harbor Point has 20 of its total staff of 70 in Bermuda. And Berger said that uh, effectively everybody keeps their jobs. Are things going to change? Of course they're going to change. But sometimes emerging companies say they can save costs by firing a fixed number of people. Uh, Marty Becker uh, said that that's not what's going to happen here. This is not an expense play. We've got lots of work for everybody to do. This is a good news story for employees. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that this works out. Now, he didn't say that. I did. The U.S. stock market in New York is down about 12 points. We'll go to a word from our sponsors. Every day, the world wakes up and goes to work, pursuing the unique opportunities that lead the global economy forward. The complexity and close connectivity of today's global marketplace is a true modern miracle that can create unparalleled success. But it takes confidence, passion, innovation, and understanding. Enabling opportunity. Protecting capital. Engineering innovation. Investing in your future. Ensuring continuity. Finding the right balance. It takes Aeon. Um, if you wait long enough, you'll see everything. Former AIG boss Maurice Greenberg no longer faces criminal charges over the transaction between the sham transaction between AIG and General Re. So according to Reuters, he's now prepared to testify. In a March 2nd affidavit filed with the New York State Supreme Court, Greenberg said that the statute of limitations to prosecute him over the 2000 transaction between AIG and Gen Re expired on February 21st. In October of 08, Greenberg invoked his constitutional right against self-incrimination about the transaction as he was giving testimony in a civil fraud lawsuit. Uh, federal prosecutors, of course, have already obtained five convictions and two guilty pleas from that uh, event. Greenberg said in the uh, submission to the court, I am prepared to testify regarding the Gen Re transaction and to be heard on the issues concerning the Genry transaction. I, therefore, withdraw my earlier invocation of my Fifth Amendment rights. Oh, boy. Now, this will be very interesting to see how, uh, how this comes out. In Britain, hundreds of thousands of British civil servants have begun a two-day strike over cuts to redundancy pay. Uh, the strike's likely to cause disruption to the British ports and airports walkout by up to 270,000 members of the Public and Commercial Services Union is the largest strike of its kind in the service since 1987. The union is striking over changes to workers' layoff and entitlement packages, which it says will rob civil servants of up to a third of their entitlements when they leave their jobs. Officials say that the 48-hour action could cause disruption at Heathrow Airport. It will also hit courts, as in C, courts, ports, job centers, benefit offices, tax centers, and emergency police call centers. Sampo Japan announced this morning that uh, it will acquire Singaporean property insurer tenant insurance for about 6.2 billion yen. Sampo is looking to expand its operations in Southeast Asia under the agreement with tenant's parent company, Wahang 